All right, we'll go. <clears throat> so we do have the Six of Pentacles as your overall energy. This is trying to balance out the situation, equal give and take. Uh, but uh, this is also someone probably who's wanting to come in, okay, and wanting to balance out the situation. This could have been a one-sided situation in the past, but now it's ready to get back to balance. In the past year, I think that you gave up on the situation. This could have been something that you were waiting on for a very long time, waiting for your ships to come in, manifesting a person or a situation. You could have waited and waited and waited for things to happen. It didn't and you gave up. You turned your back towards the situation, okay? Or someone could have done this to you. Feel free to switch the energies throughout the spread, okay? Right now, I see you emotionally very, very shut off, not wanting to be vulnerable, suppressing your emotions, or, or I think you could have been someone, you know, who, who was always probably in a very dreamy situation, okay, probably you were wanting to be in that um, fairy tale land, all right, but I think that something happened in the past year, and now you're shut off, and I think you're wanting to see things in a more realistic point of view, okay, you're no more in that dream zone. In the near future with the Three of Cups in reverse here, I feel there's going to be a lack of reconciliation. Could be a third party situation, but I'm not getting that. I'm getting a, a lack of reconciliation, a lack of two people trying to come together or being on the same page. You're not investing right now, okay? There's a lot of procrastination with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. This is how you see yourself. You're not, proca you're not investing right now. I think you're taking your time. You have the Page of Cups and the Page, page of Cups in reverse and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. I'm getting this on one person. I don't think you, I think you're not only are you emotionally shut off, but you're not even wanting to offer this person something solid, stable, committed, whatever, right? But you're just holding back. I'm getting you making things even more difficult than it seems to be. Okay. Uh, in your environment, we have a seven of pentacles. So I'm getting that there's someone waiting here, okay? Waiting and watching if they want to invest into this or not. Could be that probably you've completely pulled back, okay? And this person is now waiting and watching. And they could be waiting for you to contact them or they could be waiting for you to make the first move. Or this is just them in general, uh, waiting to see if they want to move forward with you because they're, they're quite invested into this, okay? But this is a lot of contemplation going on on their side. Your emotions is the seven of swords here. This is, could be somewhat sneaky, for sure. Could be deception, could be deception. Yes, because this is in your emotions, okay? But it's in your emotions. I'm getting this is you trying to get away with something or this is you trying to keep your emotions to yourself. Okay? This is you trying to keep your emotions to yourself, keeping your thoughts to yourself and trying to sneak away or trying to get away with something. We'll see we'll clarify when we clarify. With the four of swords as the likely outcome, I feel there's going to be some time that you're going to give to yourself or likely outcome, there's going to be a break. Okay, there's going to be like a time out between you guys. Um, what is the six? I just saw the fool here. Maybe you want to take a risk or a leap of faith or someone wants to do this with you. What is the six of pentacles? Why is this here? Yeah, see, something came to an end. Ten of swords. Something ended badly is what I'm getting, okay? You could have been felt, you could have felt backstabbed, betrayed, okay? Or this could be the person you're dealing with, okay? But something ended badly here, which just left the other person literally like overkill is what I'm getting. What is the six of pentacles? Four. Too many cards. Too many cards. What is the six of pentacles? Like seriously, one pass please. <laughs> Fine. I think there's someone here who wants to come in after there's been a breakup or there's been an ending between you guys. This person will be someone who is very, very guarded towards you, okay? I think this person is now ready to open up, ready to be vulnerable and they want a brand new beginning with you in love. That's why the Six of Pentacles here. They're ready to have this equal give and take. They're ready to balance out the situation which was unbalanced before. What is this three of wands in reverse? So I think you could have waited for this person to invest into this relationship as much as you were. Could be an equal exchange of emotions, communication, um, feelings, whatever. But yeah, I think that didn't quite go the way you expected it to and that's why you gave up. What is the three of wands in reverse? 
you have thoughts in reverse, yeah. Things could have gone really, really bad, okay? You could have had like a huge breakup in the past, okay? And I think you gave up and you were, because you were trying to heal, you were trying to recover. I think you were trying to heal from the situation, recover and wanting to move on or you were just overall wanting to just recover from the situation in the past. Because you could be dealing with a player, someone who is in and out of your life, okay? Someone who is not sincere, not genuine, okay? And someone who probably didn't even know what they wanted. Maybe this was a player, doesn't have to be. But someone who is very unsure, okay? They would come in and out of your life. I'm almost telling someone who kept giving you emotional baits to stay, keep you within the relationship. But when it came to something very committed or something um, very solid, that's when they would back out, okay? And you could have given this person a lot of chances to be with you on the same page. But because they didn't land up doing so, you let them go. More than let them go, I think you just stop waiting for them to come in correctly. What is the page of cups in reverse? Temperance. What is the page of cups in mind? Right now, you're on your own. You're absolutely on your own. With the temperance, I'm not only getting patience, but I'm also getting someone not cross. So, with the uh, temperance and the nine of pentacles here, this is balance, peace, moderation. You're just trying to keep away from the shit talkers, trying to stay away from the drama and just trying to meditate and be on your own. Because you realize your self-worth, your value and I think you're choosing to be on your own this time, okay? You're choosing to close off to this person right now, okay? You're not expressing yourself. So you probably have a lot of love for this person, but you're just choosing to zip it okay because you're choosing to focus on yourself i'm almost getting i'm going to stay away from anything that creates a lot of chaos in my life okay you're just wanting to have that um um harmony uh you just want a lot of harmony serenity you know within yourselves okay you're just trying to create that balance i'm getting a lot of balance within yourself what is the three of cups in reverse in the near future why is this in the reverse why is the three of cups in reverse in the near future Combat in reverse. Too much loneliness. Too much. What is the three of cups in reverse? <clears throat> Page of cups in reverse again. Four of pentacles in reverse. I'm getting someone who... This is, the, this is two ways. Either there is someone here who's isolated themselves too much. Okay, the hermit, yes, it's a good card when it's in the upright, right? The problem here is that a lot of people don't know when to come out of that hermit zone, okay? When you're hermiting, it's good, right? But what can happen is that if you overdo it, okay, from um, taking your space, from retreating from a relationship or from, you know, uh, pulling away from something, after some time, if you don't know exactly when to pull out, you start overthinking. And overthinking leads to isolation. That isolation is not only isolation from this relationship or the, your lover, but it's also starting to isolate from uh, uh, socializing and starting to completely be on your own. And that's what I'm getting here with the three of cups in reverse and the hermit in reverse here. There is a lack of reconciliation here because there's someone here who just wants to be left alone, like leave me the fuck alone, okay? And you could, you're, you're still shut off, okay, in the near future. I think this is still you. Page of Cups in Reverse and Four of Pentacles. I feel you are releasing this person. You could have held on to this person for a very long time. And <clears throat> I'm getting someone very being very, very stubborn and wanting to maintain that independence. Okay, wanting to just be single because they realize that they're worth much more than what they were getting, okay, or what they deserve. But yeah, Page of Cups in Reverse with the Four of Pentacles in Reverse. This is someone who's just letting go of something, okay, by shutting themselves off emotionally. But yeah, in the near future with the Hermit in reverse and the Three of Cups in reverse, I'm getting someone who's completely isolated themselves, okay? And they're just wanting to have some alone time. Someone just does not want a reconciliation. What is this Page of Pentacles in reverse? This is how you see yourself. What is the Page of Pentacles in reverse? Lovers in reverse. There could have been a connection where there was one person who was emotionally more involved in the situation than the other. This is lack of balance. This is two people not on the same page. This is someone who had fear of commitment. But again, this could be a very sexual relationship. Doesn't have to be. It could have become, okay? Doesn't have to be, okay? I'm just giving out the meanings of the cards here, so just don't. But yeah, that's one of the reasons why I don't think you want to invest into this, okay? 
Now again, you can take the entire spread and flip it the way you think it is. Okay, maybe this is definitely the cross water you're dealing with. Okay, it could be you, it could be them, whatever. But there's someone here who's not investing into this connection. Okay, and or thinking twice. I'm getting someone who's thinking ten times before they invest into the connection because they're feeling very disconnected. Why the page of pentacles in reverse? The chariot. Someone's losing the willingness and the determination to move forward in this relationship. Uh, someone's, someone's very contradicting. Uh, someone's contradicting their own beliefs. Okay, we have the chariot here in reverse. Okay, so this is like, this looks to me like what? two different horses, right? They're running the chariot. When it's in the upright, they're both on the same page, right? When it's in the reverse, right? So this is your head and heart probably and the head and heart are not in balance is what I'm getting. That's one of the reasons why you're constantly conflicting with your head. Yeah, you're very conflicted in your head about whether you want to move ahead or whether you should not. But right now, I'm feeling you're lacking the willingness and determination to move forward. Like, yeah, I can make this happen. Like, like let me try, you know. You're not taking action, okay? You're holding back. A lot of resistance, more than resistance, a lot of hesitancy to move forward with this relationship. And all because either because this is a very sexual relationship and you don't want that, you want something more committed or because uh, there's someone probably here who has fear of commitment and you want commitment, okay? Or you're just overall very emotionally involved and the other person isn't. And you're like, I don't know why. Fear comes in reverse, keeps coming out. Could be a third party situation, okay? Or there could be a third party situation, guys, does not always have to be a romantic relationship, okay? It can be a third party, which can mean it can be a mother, it can be a father, it can be a colleague, a friend someone who is influencing the relationship in some way okay and that could be one of the reasons why you're not being able to come together but in this reading when it comes out with the hermit in reverse i'm getting it's the person you're dealing with who's too isolated and who doesn't want this reconciliation or it could be okay in your environment you have the seven of pentacles what is this clap the seven of pentacles Ten of Wands. What is the Seven of Pentacles? Give me one more card. Fool. See, the fool wanted to come up with also. Someone's waiting and watching. This person wants a leap of faith with you, okay? But with the Ten of Wands here, I feel right now this person is very, very overburdened. Two ways. Either this person is very overburdened with other responsibilities external to you, which has nothing to do with you or the relationship. Although they want to come towards you with a leap of faith. They want to take this risk with you. They want to start from scratch from ground zero, okay? But they're waiting and watching. Either this person is waiting to let go of the other res responsibilities because I think they have a lot on their plate right now or this is just the relationship, the, the burden of staying away from you, okay? It's a very overwhelming energy here and they're wanting to come towards you but they're just waiting for the right time, okay? Well, you can have good things with this person, okay? And probably now it's like a wait and watch game if you guys want to start a brand new cycle with each other. What is the Seven of Swords? Clap the Seven of Swords. Clap the Seven of Swords. And the Five of Swords. In your emotions, you're looking back at someone, okay, that you had a lot of disappointment with. There was a situation, there was a person that you had a lot of disappointment with, okay? This person could have cheated on you. This person could have played a lot of mind games with you, okay? Or this could just be someone who is extremely egoistic. This could be someone who you wanted to even speak to about your relationship, why your relationship is not going right, or you wanted to correct a few things in your relationship. But whenever you wanted to talk to them about it, they just turned you away. But the Five of Swords is someone, you know, who is um, also very egoistic, okay? So yeah, you could be dealing with someone who's very egoistic. Someone who always wanted the upper hand in a relationship, okay? And I'm literally getting that you're trying to walk away from this person, you know? You're literally trying to run away. But more than running away, I'm getting you're trying to suppress your feelings from this person. You have a lot of feelings for this person. You could have a lot of love for them. But you're walking away because you're like, you know what? No, fuck it. Not anymore. Like, no more. Because this has been a lot of disappointment, okay? The Five of Cups is a very sad energy, sadness, depression, crying over spilled milk, upset, worried. But this is definitely investing your energies 
over something that is already gone over and done with. Okay. So if you're in this energy right now, it's over and gone. Okay. But let me tell you one thing. With the five of cups here, the two cups sorry, the three cups fell down, okay, but the two cups are still there, which is telling me that the situation can still be recovered if you want to. If you want to work out, okay. It's not as bad as you think it is. Okay. But I'm definitely getting you trying to walk away or trying to run away or trying to escape a relationship from a person who is just nasty. Who just, you could have had serious conflicts with this person. They could have had a lot of, you could have had a lot of communication issues also with this person. Okay. And that's something that really, really, you know, you're just constantly moping about it. You know, you're not being able to get out of that zone. And you feel it's best to keep your emotions uh, wrapped up instead of opening up. What is the Four of Swords in the outcome? See, lack of communication. What is the Four of Swords in the outcome? Knight of Pentacles. I don't feel that you want to talk to this person anymore, okay? Five of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. I feel that you're... You're done with this person, okay? If not done, I don't see the Eight of Cups as yet. But I'm feeling more like, you know what, this person brings a lot of drama and chaos in your life. Every single time this person comes into your life, okay? So, and you're probably even dealing with someone who's very in and out. But again, with the Page of Wands, this person would have had a lot of a lot of passion for you, okay? But this, this was just a shit talker. I'm getting you're not feeling that mojo. You don't have that spark, okay? You need to reignite that spark within the relationship, but you're not getting it right now. You're not being able to communicate correctly, okay? Or you're just unsure about taking action or unsure about communicating with this person. And I feel with the Knight of Pentacles here, you're taking baby steps and wanting to slowly make a move leaving the building. You want to leave the building because you're doing going to do a lot of thinking as the outcome here, okay? There's going to be, the, the break is going to continue if you guys haven't stopped talking. If the communication hasn't stopped as yet or if it's not minimal yet, it will. Because I think one person's losing their mojo here, okay? And they're slowly making a move away from the relationship, moving away from the relationship, okay? Just wanting to work on their own, focus on their commitment, focus on being committed onto their selves, focus on their own work, their career, their goals. But this is someone very slow moving. You're not doing it like, you know what, like, fuck you, I'm done. No. I mean, more like thinking. You're thinking a lot before you make this move, right? But you're slowly doing it. Because look, in your emotions, you're still watching this person. You're still watching this person. I'm almost getting like, are you going to stand up for us or not? Are you going to put up? The, the five of swords is also someone, you know, who fights, right, for something that they want. I think you're literally walking away from this person and watching this person. Are you still going to fight for us or not? That's in your emotions. That's why you're making baby steps while moving out. Because you have a lot of love, but you have a lot of, but there's a lot of regret also around the situation. I'm getting like, are you still going to fight for us? Are you still up for this, you know? Will you make a move forward towards us? They will. They will, okay? But I just feel that 10 of wands here, they're a little burdened right now, okay? And they're waiting. I think they're waiting for you to approach them. But if you don't, I'm sure they'll come in towards you, okay? Because they have the fool here. They're coming towards you, okay? It's just going to be a matter of time here. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope this reading resonates with you. And leave your comments below. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.